Good morning, Andrew James here, James Life Design. I uh, want to walk you through the morning ritual. I do this every morning. Uh, if I'm not able to do it in a peaceful, quiet place at home, uh, I will actually do it while on the road commuting in um, and or find a spot where I can take five minutes to do it. Um, it's, a, it's a critical and important part of my day to center, connect with myself, set intentions and um, zero in my focus um, to, to ensure that I have a great day. So uh, before I start, I want to give credit where it's due. Um, I learned this from Tony Robbins, one of my teachers. And so uh, this is inspired by him. Um, I tweak it a little bit, but the way I do it, uh, you want to try if you can to be sitting cross-legged. Obviously, if you're driving in, you can't do that. Um, that's okay. Keep your eyes on the road. Uh, but if you can get somewhere, preferably on the ground, so you can be grounded um, and in a cross-legged position, uh, you start by putting your hands, um, palms up, in a uh, as if you're kind of like holding a tray, elbows by your sides. And we're going to do three sets of intense breathing. Um, basically, we're going to take 15 breaths as quickly in and out with as much force as possible. Um, but obviously know yourself and be careful not to overdo it. As we do each set, um, we'll be breathing, but we want to think of one thing that we're grateful for. Um, I'm grateful for a good night's rest. Thank you for a, um, a cup of coffee. Thank you for all the learning that I've had recently. Thank you for a sunny day. Thank you for the clothes I'm wearing. Thank you for my ability to think. It can be anything, but the idea is we want to get ourselves focused in on positive thinking, and we do that through gratitude. That helps to focus and, and literally send signals off to our central nervous system and, and line our body up for a good day. So we'll go ahead and start. And again, I'm, I'm not going to be speaking my gratitude out loud, but I'll be thinking it as I breathe. So that's one set. If you notice, I close my eyes and I pump my arms. The idea is to get your body moving, also to be moving the energy, pulling energy in with each breath. You're <clears throat> so now we'll do set number two. That said, I was saying thank you for the gift of teaching. I take a few slow breaths in between. And then on to set three. And that said, I was <clears throat> having gratitude for it being a, a beautiful sunny summer day. After the third set, again continuing to slowly breathe, I take my hands and put them over my heart. <clears throat> Moving on to the next section of the ritual, we're beginning to think of healing ourselves. So I will sit and breathe deeply and use the power that is gifted to each of us as humans to begin healing. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to think about breathing in the energy from all around. And as I'm breathing it in, I see like particles of sparkly energy getting sucked into me from around the sky, from up from, from the earth into my body. And I'm thinking of areas in my body that can use healing. So like my neck is really sore right now. So I might think, let my neck be healed. Let the energy flow to my neck to heal my neck. Almost every day these days, I send most of the healing energy to my head, to my brain. Because I know my mind is the source of so much of my um, tightness and my pain and suffering and um, overthinking. And so I let my brain be healed. Let my mind be calm. 
Let my thoughts be with peace and be easy. And I don't typically talk out loud. I just breathe slowly and I'll sit with this sometimes for as long as five or seven minutes, sometimes for just a minute if it's all I have. Finally, staying in this position, I then think of three things that I intend or have intentions for for the day. So the first might be, <clears throat> I intend to be wise in all of the dealings I have with people. I intend to think of the, the wise way to, to react, the wise way to, to think, the wise way to speak and behave. That might be thing number one. Thing number two that I intend for the day is I intend to love. I intend to love myself and make choices that would be loving um, to not sabotage myself to have boundaries for myself, maybe to love everyone else, to be loving and kind even if someone is um, frustrating me or irritating me, to still treat them with love. The third thing might be, and I pick this one a lot, is to have fun. I want today to be fun. I want everything that I engage in to be fun. I intend to have fun. Other things I will do, sometimes I intend to create if I want to work on my writing or create consciously the person that I want to be. I'll think I want to create myself as the best version of me today. Um, it might also be like, I hope that my men's group that I host goes exceedingly well. Um, I intend for the conversation I have to have with my boss to go exceedingly well. I intend to have a really fun date night with my wife or <clears throat> I intend to have a close connection with my daughter. I pick three things. Once I've thought of those three things and I've continued to breathe slowly and deeply, I close the, the ritual by grounding and I'll put my hands on the ground. <clears throat> if I'm driving, obviously I can't do that. So typically I'll put my hands like maybe a hand on my leg. Um, you know, I'll move my hands from here and, um, you know, maybe grab my shoulders, keeping a hand on the wheel if you're driving again. Um, but I try to close the ritual by grounding. That's the morning ritual. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. This is Andrew James with James Life Design. I hope you have a beautiful and peaceful day.